I'm going to practice decision making for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you haven't heard of Siamese Mahjong yet, look for a link below the video for a demonstration and the rules. Basically, two players play two hands at one time. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. And you can play online now at SiamesMahjong.com. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. If I roll an odd number, we're going to be player one. If I roll an even number, we'll be player two. I rolled an even number, so we're going to be player two. We'll get 27 tiles. Okay, we have a couple of jokers, which is nice. We have a pair of flowers, a north. Here's a pair of dragons. Then we have lots of cracks, including a pair of twos. Here are bams with a pair of twos. And then here we have a kong of three dots. Anytime I have a big multiple and jokers, I try to play a quint. So I would try to do that. We could play north and threes. This would be the second hand down under quints. Let's see if we can make something work with these down here though. If we play a quint, that could be a bit of a force because we're really light with our north there. Let's see, maybe we could play a different quint. We do have a three. I don't think we have enough of one suit to play the first quint. I think what I would probably do here is forego the quint because it's so light. I see an opportunity for a pair hand instead. Two, four, six, eight in two suits with flowers. Let's just see. That's many more tiles. Two, four, six, eight, and two suits. That would be the second hand down. So let's see if we could make something work here. What about if we still do a quint? There's a like number quint that we can leverage these dragons. Right here. So basically, we would have eight discards if we played the like number quint with dragons and then a two, four, six, eight pair hand. The other thing we could maybe do is one, three, three, five, dragon. If the like number quint doesn't come in, there's an odd hand that uses the opposite dragon. Fourth hand down, one, three, three, five. I think I would try the quint though, but hold little odds as an option because we, we definitely need more jokers and we're really light with our threes. But I think this is what I would do here. The like number quint with threes and the green dragon or one, three, three, five with dragons. And again, that would be 
the fourth hand down for little odds, one, three, five. And then down here, two, four, six, eight, we need a six bam and a six crack. And then of course we need to pair up the eights. I think I probably would hold the two just because we could also maybe play like numbers with twos if the pair hand doesn't come in. Let me know what you think about this. If you would do something different with these tiles, let me know. But I think these could even be winners here. All right, we're gonna go on to the next random pull. I rolled five. That's an odd number, so we're gonna be player one. I'll get 28 tiles as player one. Okay, we got lots of multiples in here. Look at the flowers. Four flowers, pair of green dragon, pung of three cracks. Here's a pair of one bams and a pung of five dots. That's a lot of one, three, five. One, three, five. One, three, five in mixed suit options. Or we could do, let's see here. Something consecutive, three, four, five, six. And then maybe a quint. Three, four, five, six, and then a quint. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, and a quint. Joker bait. Seven discards with joker bait. Three, four, five, six, consecutive runs, second hand down. We've got a pung. We need a kong here, pung here, kong here. Let's see. And up here, four flowers, north one, joker bait, three, four, five, six. Let's see. You know what else I was thinking here? We could use, this is joker bait. Do four, five, six, use the threes up here for the quint and the flower down here. Four, five, six kongs. And that way we have a big multiple up here. I think what I would probably do though is hold the four, still play three, four, five, six, and see what happens with the ones. We could still get rid of all these before we have to decide. Three, four, five, six, or flowers four, five, six, and use the threes up here. Stay concealed as long as possible. Hold this as long as possible for joker bait. Maybe even hold the three and get rid of those because we could play like numbers with threes and dragons and play flowers with threes or flowers with four, five, six. 
So I think I would hold these for options. Maybe even the red for options with the dragon there. The concealed three, uh, like number hand with threes. So discard these first. I think that's what I would do here. Quint, three, four, five, six, plan A. With flexibility to do something else with either like numbers with threes and dragons or use the threes up here and do flowers with four, five, six. We have four discards before we'd have to decide. You don't have to pick a hand at the beginning. You can stay at the category level. Even if you have a particular hand in mind, just stay flexible and keep options in mind. I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write pull two in the comment section below and what you would do with these tiles. I think the reason why I want so many options is because we're so light with our north. That's really light with that north. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I rolled an even number, so we're going to be player two. Look at that. That's amazing. East and West with dragons. East and West with dragons. This is one away from set. All we need is a red dragon. Kong here. We need an East or a Joker. Basically, it's Kong, the East and West in pairs for the dragons. That's pretty cool. Then down here, I'm, I was thinking right away, three, six, nine, maybe the three, six, nine pair hand. We're a little light in a second suit. Joker bait. So, East and West with dragons. Third hand down under winds and dragons. And then the maybe the 369 pair hand. I think we have one too many six here. This would be the fifth hand down under singles and pairs. Or we could maybe do 369 one suit. Just hold these for options. And this would be joker bait for this hand up here. Or this hand here, if we don't play the pair hand. There is some potential for a year hand here with dragons and the, you know, 22019. We'd have to throw away a white dragon though. Or the red, because you can use white dragons in that year hand with dragons, the third one down. But that, that would deplete the 369 potential, I think. So I don't think I would play a year hand here. I think I would hold all the 369 and just gather, try for the pair hand. Here, east and west with dragons, joker bait, discard those. You wouldn't have to really decide what to do until you discard these tiles here. Let me know what you think about that one. This is pretty clear, I think, though. Let's see. Another thing that we could maybe do is 
let's see, east and west with sixes. And then the dragon hand. Basically, that would be the second from the bottom. Either way, we're still using these tiles. I would like to do this one, though. That's one away from set. This would take a little work. But we would have joker bait here to help out. Maybe. Hit or miss. If you want to know more about joker bait, look for a link below the video. I have three videos on how to do work with joker bait. This was a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Basically, you discard one of your pairs that you really don't need. We clearly don't need a seven in here. I mean, we could maybe do six, seven flower. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tiles to three, six, nine with flexibility. Here we're picking a, a specific hand or maybe flowers with six, seven dragon, which would deplete this. So I don't think I would do that. I think I would hold this for joker bait. So around mid game, you would discard one and then your opponent would maybe put out an exposure with a joker and you could use this one on your next turn to exchange it and get a joker in your hand. That's how it's supposed to work. And it's kind of hit or miss, but it's a nice strategy. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong and you have a Mahjong set at home, give this exercise a try. It's a great way to get used to playing with all these tiles. 28 if you're player one and 27 if you're player two. It can be a little overwhelming at first, but if you practice at home, you can get used to having all those tiles and you can really make just about anything work. But build around your multiples and if you can't use a multiple, Think about joker bait. Don't forget to look for the link below the video so that you can watch those special videos on how joker bait works. It really is a fantastic strategy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.